What is unique about Westbrook's Section 12J funds? So when we conceptualized our Section 12J business, we had to ask ourselves a few questions around the type of strategies that we wanted to invest into and the type of risk and reward profile that we wanted to give our investors. And I think it's one of the fundamental reasons that Westbrook and our Section 12J offering is unique in the market is our approach to risk, our approach to capital preservation, uh, and our approach to keeping within what we believe to be the spirit of the Section 12J legislation. So really what Westbrook is all about is providing the investor with an asset-backed, sort of low to medium risk type investment, which in keeping with that criteria also is very closely in keeping with the spirit of what Section 12J is trying to achieve, which is to promote and stimulate the South African economy and create jobs. Um, and so really what we're about is we're looking, we're not looking for super returns at our underlying investments. What we're looking to do is to achieve, call it 10% type returns at our underlying investments, which are then overlaid with the 8% that Section 12J gives you. And the whole proposition to the investor is that where you would ordinarily have been investing into a particular asset class, call it student accommodation, and have received a 10% return, You've now done it in a tax efficient section 12J structure earning 18. That's after all fees and taxes. But at the same time, what you've also done is you've invested into an asset class in the South African economy, which is in dire need of capital and funding because of the significant bed shortage in the country. And I, and I think just to add to Dino's point, the industries we're touching are, are quite far. We, we're in hotel keeping, so the hospitality industry, as Dino mentioned, student accommodation, providing accommodation for students. And then through the, the asset rental strategy, we really are providing growth capital to small and medium sized businesses. And I think a combination of those strategies, we really are believe making a difference from jobs created and, and growing businesses. I think one other thing just to the strategy, I think that what makes us different is we clearly define an exit mechanism or route to liquidity mm -hmm. for our investors. And I think for any investor looking to make a minimum five year investment, it, there is always a risk in how am I going to get my money back at the end of the five years. And we clearly define that within each strategy to give the investor comfort that they understand how we're going to manage the fund and manage their, their liquidity on the way out. So I think maybe, maybe just to summarize, really what it is from our perspective is, is four things. It's number one, ensuring that we've secured our clients their Section 12J deduction by making sure that we compliant with all the host of legislation that is, is required to do that. Number two, it's to find some form of an asset-backed investment to present to our clients whereby if everything else in the business fails, you've still got an underlying asset that you can take as security which de-risks the investment. The third pillar is providing an attractive risk-adjusted return to the investor, which we touched on, that 10 becoming 18. And then the fourth thing, which we believe is really unique to our strategies, is this concept of a clearly defined exit mechanism.